Hey YouTube, it's your girl Simply Love, and I'm here to finish your readings. Excuse me for that, okay? I'm gonna finish your readings for you. I'm gonna use my finish it using my uh, cell phone. Looks like it's still recording. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna do Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bear with me with this. Have some. A few technical, I don't know if it's the towers that they're doing around here. I don't know what it is, but my computer just been acting crazy. So, I'm just going to do it over my phone. It's been, I feel like it's easier just to get on my phone and do it. You know? So, <clears throat> here we go. We're going to do it from the, uh, let's see, what is it? The 19th to the 25th. Okay, just seeing, you know, seeing what's going on after this um, eclipse. We got another one coming up, though. Okay, so a lot of people already done made their moves here in, uh, you know, being things being exposed, secrets, people, you know, seeing themselves and wanting to make some, some changes, leaving things behind that no longer serves. And, you know, that's all it is. Uh, the eclipse is like a little uh, spanking, like a little wake up call. Uh, you still have free will to do what you want to do, though. So let's get with it. <clears throat> Remember, you guys, if you get the video, it's going to be on here somewhere. I'm going to try to put it on here if I can do it from my phone. Um, I said this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign for Sagittarius. Um, and remember, um, these messages are fluid. That means they're all over the place. It doesn't necessarily have to be talking about you. It could be vice versa in energies. It might be talking about the other person. You have to put all that in perspective. But, you know, I'm just a messenger here. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Spirit's not here to tell you what to do. All they are doing is seeing what, you, what you're what you into and give you advice on it. But like I said, they're general reading for entertainment purposes only. Nobody under 18 should be watching these videos. Just put that out there. <clears throat> so let's see what we come up with, Sagittarius. What's going on with Sag? <laughs> Look, I got a turd on my head. That's my little thing, turban thing. I don't think I put it on right. But it looks weird, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Sagittarius, we got for you the first card. And I'm using this new deck uh, somebody, one of my customers gave me. The Robin Wood tech. This is like an older deck in the 70s. And I can like really relate to it as soon as I got them out. I was like, yes. I like uh, when I get a new deck or something, I just can connect with it really well by the energies of probably that time period because I was a I was a, raised around that time period. So let's get it on. Okay. First card pops out is the strength card. So some of you are dealing with the Leo possibly. Uh, this is about taming the beast inside yourself. Keeping yourself calm and cool. Maybe keeping somebody else calm and cool. Trying to deal with them possibly. Um, taming yourself, taming the inner beast with inside yourself. Uh, either this is you or your partner doing this. And I hear, I see the Knight of Wands talking about, hi-ho, silver, away. Like, real flighty, like, you can see them one minute, you know, or a couple of days or something like that. And they like, they're just an in and out type. They're not very committal, okay? It could be a knight, you know, it could be a male or female. They're not very committal, but they rushing towards your way, it looks like, or rushing. Very ambitious person, very ambitious, but they're very flirty. Um, and they can tell you things that you want to hear and sound so good. They dress really nice. Uh, but they they just you see them like you see what he's doing on that horse. He like they they like they all over the place. Okay, so we got the King or Queen of Cups. Very nice person. Very mature. Very seasoned. Um, doesn't express their, show their emotions. They express it, but they don't show it. Because, like I said, they're very seasoned. They're mature. They know where they stand. They know what they want. <clears throat> so we got two people here. One's a younger one. One's an older one. Male or female. They're back. This... 
this knight or queen is or knight or princess is look like they moving away from this king of cups and it's some type of victory some type of recognition somebody you know getting their accolades for something um uh, maybe went somebody feel like they won a prize or look at them as being a prize somebody getting attention Somebody's offering their love, and um, it, it, and it looks like it's gonna be. It looks like it's going their way, either you or the other person. But somebody's real flighty. Look like they go in the other direction towards strength or something. But we got another one. We got a Knight of Cups. Now, what's what's going on, Sagittarius? Either this is you or your other person. Like, there's like, there's victory, and then there's somebody else coming in here trying to offer some love as well so there's two love offers on the table i see so far i see three people but the, there's one of them that's like just young and out there period there's one that's very mature you would like to you know usually are is married person really got their stuff together and um it looks like they are <clears throat> victorious in whatever they doing but there's love there's another love offer from someone else and it got somebody conflicted. Either you could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Harry, Sagittarius, or Leo. Leo. I got a lot of fire here. A lot of fire and water. But they're love cups though. They're not, you know, they're love cups. Except the one night he's just like, he ain't got nothing to offer. He's just doing what he want to do. That's all. Somebody's conflicted. Somebody's not doing anything, okay? Somebody not saying nothing about the situation, doing nothing, not moving, indecisive. Maybe they're trying to use their intuition because of the swords before they speak or see. It's like monkey, no see, no see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil. That's what it seemed like to me. But there's somebody at a crossroads here. It might be the Seven of Pentacles. See, they waiting. Somebody's waiting. Could be a Capricorn, a Capricorn Bar, Capric Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Let me slow my roll here. Okay, let's slow the roll. <coughs> I don't. I want to close this computer off because I think it's, it may have a virus. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I'm going to have to look into that. It's a new computer, but I haven't had no... I didn't put no virus stuff on it. All right. So, let's go here. <clears throat> Somebody's waiting. Somebody put some... You know, somebody planted some seeds there. Put some energy into something. Turn this thing off. Period. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a <coughs> cough here going on. Yeah, so it looks like to me, somebody's waiting around to see what somebody wants to do here. Like, like okay, when are you going to come out of the Twilight Zone, sister, brother? Because uh, I'm sitting here waiting to see what's up. You know, hmm, the devil, the devil is in the, the devil is in the mix. Okay. There's some type of, uh, something that's not quite right here where somebody could be stuck on someone else. Somebody could be tied to someone else, married to someone else. Someone, uh, could be in an unhealthy relationship. This could be like somebody. And I'm going to tell this, like, it could be, you know, male on male situation going on here. Because there's nothing but males here. But it could be, you know, females too. <clears throat> so the devil's got somebody trapped and bound or somebody feeling trapped. And it's probably this airy, airy said I'm, I'm sorry, Bur um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, who look like they, you know, they ain't saying nothing or doing nothing. They're making somebody wait. Because it looks like they got a couple of offers here. And um, somebody is just toxic as hell. 
Somebody feel chains and bound, like I said. Let's see. Let's keep going on here. Yeah, here's the tower. Somebody's going to put something to an end or something's going to fall apart here. And it's going to be happening very, very suddenly, like out of nowhere. But you can rebuild, though. That the tower is not there to just knock you down and, you know, you just down. Spirit is not like that. But they do come along and shake things up, you know. So it looks like somebody needs to be shooken up here because they, they, they're they not doing nothing, okay. Uh, yeah, they just like, let me see. Now that the tower hit, now someone, either you or your person, wants to look at things at a different point of view. Or they're just pausing to check, you know, to really come to some kind of light about something maybe they're <clears throat> maybe they trying to do some type of uh rethinking something but it is a pause if somebody put something on pause because of the uh this tower here so somebody's like what really really now I gotta look at now I gotta look at this stuff really, really I gotta pay I really gotta pay attention and I gotta, you know, just swing things upside down a little bit here and, and, and see if I can see something different because I, I don't right now until I get up out of that tree. Until I get an epiphany. It's about a marriage. Definitely four of wands. A marriage or just, you know, two people that's living together. It's got something to do with that. So, I feel like there's a triangle going on here. Could be involving two, two to three people. Some drama. <clears throat> got the six of cups. Yeah, somebody probably, somebody come in from the past. Somebody's thinking about somebody from the past. Instead of their little home and house and dog and kids and shit. They think about somebody from the past or the, somebody from the past may have popped up. Um, somebody could have children by somebody with baby mama. Yeah, because here's the king and queen of wands. Now, this person you don't really want to mess with. They kind of like, they take charge. They like to take charge of things. They, they like the boss. Okay. And they go after what they want. And they, you know, they'll desperately go, you know, get, try to get it. Even if they, even if, if there's somebody turn them down, they still right there popping up. Like, but there's some kind of disappointment. Somebody's in regret here. Somebody's hurting. Because it looks like <clears throat> somebody may have went back to their past or looked back to their past. Because that king or queen of uh, wands there is looking at the past. Okay. Maybe somebody got hurt from the past. Uh, maybe it was a long-term relationship, like I said, or a a, a, a marriage. <clears throat> yeah, here's the Hierophant. It was a marriage. It looked like somebody interfered in a marriage situation. It caused some heartbreak and pain and regret because this person is all clothed up like, I don't want nobody to see me. I'm so embarrassed. I'm just so embarrassed. But this is about contracts and stuff like that. Teachers and stuff like that. And counselors. A spiritualist. Stuff like that. Let me see something here. Why is it? Yeah, somebody's going through a change of life. A new, um, where they feel lucky. Okay? They feel lucky about something. Something's changing with the wheel of fortune. Something's fortunate is coming somebody's way. Yeah, because they're seeking... They're looking elsewhere. They can see their ships coming in. They still holding on to something, one thing, but they, you know, they let the other two go. So somebody might have had a relationship with three people. One may have been married. The other one's all over the damn place. And there's two trying to offer love to someone. Kept somebody kind of trapped some, or somebody from the past. Uh, like yeah, somebody's all dreamy. See that card? Fantasizing. illusions delusions come with the seven of cups confusion illusions delusions cause confusion because somebody's in la la land okay and the queen of, yeah, queen of cups yeah it's over a um <clears throat> over a love situation somebody offering their love or can be a king, a king or a queen here we see quite a few people here i'm i'm looking at this as being stone cold drama that's all I'm going to say because that's what I'm seeing. 
drama, drama, drama. I see breakups, you know, relationship issues. I see toxic, you know, toxic stuff going on with the devil being involved. Somebody's dancing with the devil. People are playing with several people. One might be playing tit for tat thing. I'm hearing all that type of stuff like tit for tat. Like you do that. I'm going to do this. Somebody's all up in their head about a situation, going crazy, overthinking. Okay. Let's see what else we got here for our lovely sign of Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's in a three-ring circus, man. Got a circus going on. Marriages, somebody, oh, yeah, it's just you. I feel weird about that. That's weird. I ain't never seen nothing like that in a while. What's going on, Sagittarius? I might name it. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Friendships. Somebody might be friends with. And got involved with somebody's husband and they were friends. Okay. I see miracles happening. I feel like somebody's, you know, leaving or retreating, going off to their self. And, and it's going to set somebody free. There's somebody leaving some. Some of you are leaving a partner or a marriage or getting, you know, leaving. Freeing themselves from a situation. That's what I see that don't serve them because somebody's, you know, the devil in this situation. They're all over the place. Might have been that night. They might have had some kind of connection together. Might have been the same person. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to look deep into your soul. If it's not you, this is someone else. Uh, Sagittarius. But somebody wants a chance. But there needs to be trust established, okay? When somebody cheats, it, it has to be some, some trust. There's growth, there's awakening, and there's love here. And a gift, like somebody wants to give somebody something. It's going to make somebody feel good is what I'm seeing. Think about yourself first. Put yourself first, okay? Sagittarius, put yourself first. Okay, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now your uh, um, advice is, or just your something, a little something, something for you, Sag. I have unlimited potential. I rise above all limitations. So some of you are going, you're, you know, you're going somewhere after whatever. Some of you, it could be a breakup to make up. I'm saying, I'm hearing breakup to make up. That's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for a fool. I can relate to that. Believe me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what your ancestors think about this or somebody that you know that's passed over is watching over you from the other side. Let's see what they think about all this. Then I'm going to give you one of my cards here as an advice or, you know, just some words that can, you know, may, somebody might need. All right. So the person that's passed over, your ancestors, uncles, nieces, nephew, best friend, whatever it is. Whoever it is saying, I always point you in the right direction. So you do have help from the other side. Someone, a family member, uh, you told me to pick another one. I always give you a good night kiss. Oh, that is so sweet. Somebody, they make sure you, you know, you headed in the right direction and they definitely kiss you at night before you go to sleep. That is so sweet. It really is. Okay, now this is some advice here for you from my deck here. It's called I Messages for Love Relationships. Just give you some little inspiration every day or something. I always shuffle on myself and pull a card. Here's one that fell out. And, it, and your advice is be thankful for bad relationships. 
because uh, good or bad, past or present, he or she made you the person that you are today. That's what a lot of people need to understand. This card came out a lot in, in a lot of people's readings. Came out, pop, just popped on out. Well, I think that's all I got for you, uh, Sagittarius. Short and sweet. That's, you know, a little taste of what's going on. Um, don't forget, um, I'm having that sale, you know, and, and I am getting booked up. So hurry up. And if you want a, a personal private reading, a 30 minute reading for $15 cash at me at the dollar sign. I am simply love. Okay. It is in the description below. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like the a personal private reading with me at that, uh, discount price it's very discounted from my normal prices, but you know, we, we at that time where people, you know, doing the holiday thing and all that kind of stuff, spending money, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, if you want a reading, this is your opportunity to do so. I love you guys. You take care and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.